Hey up everybody, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you are all doing well. So Xbox has announced that they're going to be making wraps for the Series X and one of the first wraps they are doing is a Starfield inspired wrap. And I have to say, I think it looks really cool. I've had a good look at it and I like how it looks, although I'm not sure about the price, but we'll get into that part in a moment. The Starfield wrap is designed to match perfectly with the Starfield controller and headset carrying on the white aesthetic along with the blue, gold, orange and red stripe design. The wraps aren't the traditional wrap in the sense that they are vinyl and stick onto the actual console instead these do simply just wrap around the console and fix in place using a hook system so that they can be easily removed and swapped out for a different wrap if you so wish this is a first for xbox creating a wrap for the consoles to my knowledge at least this is usually something that's left to third party vendors indeed if you take a quick look on ebay and amazon you will find many people selling wraps for your console although i think all of them are the vinyl type which will need to be stuck onto the actual console which of course means means having a very steady hand to make sure they are stuck in the correct position, not covering any of the vents or the buttons or anything like that. But that's not going to be an issue for these official created ones as they're properly designed to fit the console perfectly. Having said that, the vinyl wraps are a lot cheaper than the Xbox offering as the Xbox official wraps are retailing for $50 for you guys over in the US and for £45 here in the UK. So far there are three wraps to choose from all available for pre-order. The first of course is the Starfield wrap. This will release on the 18th of October so this is, does of course mean it's not available for the launch of the game and then there are two camo wraps Arctic camo and mineral camo which will release on the 10th of November although the Xbox site states that the only the mineral camo will be available in Europe for some reason the Arctic one isn't available at this moment in time so let me know in the comment section down below what you think about these wraps are they something you would be interested in of course some Starfield fans out there will want to complete the ultimate Starfield look with this wrap especially if you have either of the controller or headset or indeed both although it is a shame that the wrap isn't releasing in time for the game launch next up we're talking about modding in starfield and i feel like this is a subject which is only going to get bigger and bigger towards the launch of the game and it's going to go nuclear after the launch of the game with many people looking to mod different areas of the game one area we've spoken about recently in past videos is the modding of nvidia tech into the game most notably dlss support for the game something which we believe will not be natively added in by the BGS team. Not to begin with anyways, but we do hope that it may be added natively later on at a sort of later date. But Modder Pure Dark has said that he is hoping to have DLSS support modded into the game within the early access period and as previously stated you will need to be subscribed to his Patreon to get hold of such mods. But Pure Dark has courted some controversy in recent days by adding his own form of DRM into his latest Red Dead Redemption 2 mod, meaning that the mod has to authenticate that the user is subscribed to his Patreon. Obviously this is done to so that people can't simply grab the mod and just give it to friends or share it with the rest of the internet. Pure Dark has come out to defend himself stating that he is simply seeking fair compensation for the work he does. And let's be honest, you can't really say fairer than that. He does put a lot of hard work into doing these mods, so it's only fair that he gets some sort of monetary compensation for his work. Now of course unofficial mods can and do break very often when the game is given an official update by the developers and people have commented that this will mean you would either have to stay subscribed to his Patreon to receive the latest version as he creates them or resub to grab the updated version whenever he pushes one out. Pure Dark has said though that with the Starfield mod he will be using something called address library or memory signatures to make sure that the DLS mod won't break when the game is updated ultimately it comes down to how bad you want the mod though in the game if you do want it then to begin with at least you will have to pay for it and then seeking payment for his work i don't really think he's out of order at all at the moment of writing this 4011 people are subbed to his patreon and i've seen many people comment that his work is of a high standard so it's just going to come down to how bad you want or need that mod in the game as always ladies and gentlemen let me know down in the comment section what you think about these subjects like i say the modding thing is just going to grow and grow as we get towards the release of the game and then afterwards obviously there's going to be various different mods that will release for the game some of the modders out there will be putting them behind paywalls and some people are annoyed with that which I understand to a certain degree but at the end of the day if you're putting your own personal time and effort into creating something that's going to work really well and enhance a part of a game I don't think it's too out of order to ask for something back in return and I think Pure Dark's Patreon is just five dollars a month which I don't think is too much really especially if you're somebody that does want all of the mods in the game and you want to have sort of the latest access to making the game look good and play well and I guess it'll come down to just how good 
good looking Starfield is at the end of the day. We might not even need a DLSS. Um, a lot of people will. I think some people might just prefer to have it and might be okay with paying for it. But as I say, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about these subjects. I love the look of the Xbox wraps. Um, they've only got three out at the moment though. I was hoping that they would have some more out. Obviously, there's various different themes that they can do and I'm sure that they will add to that in the coming months. The price, I don't know. Is it a little bit too high? I, I guess it, you could, when compared to the vinyl ones, definitely, you can grab vinyl ones here in the UK for as, as little as a tenner. So, but like I say, they've got to be stuck to the console in a very meticulous way to make sure that they A, don't cover any of the vents or buttons and B, actually look okay on the console. Whereas you don't have to worry about that with the wrap. It's measured and made to fit and obviously not actually sticking to the console. So yeah, let me know what you think about these in the comments section. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay safe and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.